Yo, 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 it's such a strong, and I'm back with the talk of fuck. Today matchup would be the Ultimate Warrior versus John Cena in the Ultimate Matchup. And which one will win? Keep in mind, these two have never, ever faced one another in the ring. And knowing that the Ultimate Warrior is dead, they never will. But, let's so say they did. And let's so say it did happen that these two have fought. Mono to mono individually in the ring. And I'll tell you which one I personally feel like will win. And I'll tell you why. But first, the ultimate warrior. Crap, sorry. The ultimate warrior. And John Cena. Now we're going to go with some positives and some positives about those two. Because there's not really that many negatives to point out about these two. And I'm going to start off with the Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior is the most male-dominant wrestler who ever lived. Literally. He has way more wins than loses. You can't compare his loses to his wins. He got 138 wins and only 16 loses. That's really dominant. Really dominant. The Ultimate Warrior went a whole entire year without losing a match literally a whole year without losing one match that's really impressive <laughs> matter of fact i think it might have been two years i don't know what it was but he has not lose a match in like a year or two and he went against people like randy savage goldust hulk hogan you know sergeant slaughter um the Undertaker. He even beat The Undertaker fair and square by himself. He also went against, uh, I'm not mistaken, Bret Hart or some other people. There are legends who are conducted in the Hall of Fame. Keep in mind, the un Ultimate Warrior is in, contact, is in the Hall of Fame himself. And he beat these people fair and square. People that wrestlers these days wouldn't even have a chance to beat, in my opinion. Well, I take that back. Anything's possible. But more than likely, off of what I'm thinking of, they would not beat the Ultimate Warrior, nor the people that the Ultimate Warrior to beat himself. The Ultimate Warrior was about 275 to 285 pounds when he wrestled back in the 80s and the 90s. He can lift up people Double his weight. I think he lifted a 400, 500 pound man and slammed him. The Ultimate Warrior defeat the Ultimate, uh, the, crap, the Undertaker fair and square. And for you to beat the Undertaker, you have to be extremely, extremely, extremely good. Because I don't recall John Cena ever beating the Undertaker. And they went against one another more than once. The Ultimate Warrior have won several several championships and have made history for WWF as well as WWE. He wrestled, I want to say, maybe eight or nine years. And trust me, when those eight or nine years were like in the 90s and the 80s, People were used to people around the world would watch this guy wrestle. Literally, they would go from Australia or South America or crap, the Middle East, just to America, just to see this guy wrestle and beat the living crap on some other wrestle. The Ultimate Warrior is really energetic. I have never ever saw him get tired in a ring. Literally, he's like full of stamina and speed. He moves extremely fast for his size. He might not be the tallest, but despite of his height, he beat people that were like 6'6". This guy is really phenomenal. Literally. I wish he was still alive, but sadly he's dead. And, you know, this guy was just really awesome. You can look at his physique. I don't think he have any body fat on him whatsoever. It's just that this... He was a monster. You know, an unstoppable machine. He's the most dominant male wrestler who ever lived. Have way more wins than losers. 
can't compare his wins to loses. And not to mention the championships he won. He won, I want to say, at least four. And for him to only do 156 matches, that's pretty good. You know, that's pretty good. What else can this guy do? Um... He's he. I don't think the Ultimate Warrior ever got injured. I think he went injured free for about seven to eight years that he wrestled. I don't think he ever got injured. I don't think he ever got tired. I don't think he he no. He hasn't got injured. He has never got tired. If he got injured, I think he hit it and kept fighting with his injury. He has never quit a match. And I believe, off my memory, I don't think he ever disqualified a match. And I watched at least three fights, three wrestling matches with this guy beating people consistently. This, this just, he has a golden soul. You know, he's going to forever, because he's already conducted in the Hall of Fame. Everyone is going to remember this guy. And people in the future is going to know about him. Trust me, the Ultimate Warrior made WWE the way it is today. Next, I want to move on to John Cena. John Cena is literally just a beast. He can squat, I want to say, 700 pounds. That's pretty impressive. Not to mention all the matches he did. He did 1,323 matches. That's a lot. Literally, a lot. Now, he has done, he has not done the most matches for male wrestlers, but I think he's in like 4th or 5th place. He only lost 250 matches. Only lost 250 out of 1,323. That means he has over 1,000 wins. Not to mention, he has 16 championships. Not to mention, he's been wrestling since 2000. Since the year 2000. Now, he might not be as dominant as the Ultimate Warrior, but he certainly did more than the Ultimate Warrior. Been wrestling longer than the Ultimate Warrior. He went through more challenges than the Ultimate Warrior. and has more experience than the Ultimate Warrior. But, all of that could or could not give you a win in a match. John Cena has also been a bodybuilder before. Before he was wrestling, he was bodybuilding, and I think he was on steroids, if I'm not mistaken, and he was one big, giant dude, literally. He looked like he was 400, 300 pounds of nothing but muscle, but sadly saying, he's not that much. He's only 256 pounds, and he has a little body fat. So, he's just a monster. You know, John Cena beat the Edge. I think he beat The Rock one time. I think he beat it. He beat Curtis Axel. He beat it. Shawn Michaels. He beat it. Crap. I could go on the list. He even beat Batista and Triple H. Crap. He beat Brock Lesnar. That takes a lot. Every wrestler he went against, I think he beat at least once. Even the wrestlers who beat him, I think he got them back and beat them later. John Cena has been. The face of WWE for the past 10 years. After the Ultimate Warrior. Keep in mind, after him. He's been the face of WWE for the past 10 or 11 years. I've been running the place. I know he has recently retired momentarily. But for to be the face of WWE for 11, 10 years, that's a lot. I think he also won two awards of being the number one wrestler of the year. I think in 2005 and 2000 and I want to say eight, whatever it was, that's pretty impressive. But the Ultimate Warrior has also won the wrestler of the year, I want to say in 1992. So these two are in the same boat with that. But John Cena has certainly outnumbered the Ultimate Warrior with matches and experience and overall work. The John Cena is also in movies and he does a little rap. I remember back in the early 2000s he did a thugonomics rap and used to insult his opponents in rap formats and make fun of him in a rap. That was pretty impressive. He's really good at following the script and he has really good acting skills, 
with wrestling and outside of wrestling, and he has good gimmicks and good ways to make WWE just a fun show to watch. But I won't get to the final conclusion between John Cena and the Ultimate Warrior. If these two had an ultimate matchup in a one on one fight, and I had to pick which one will win, and I'm going to tell you, if I had to pick, it would be the Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior is the most dominant male wrestler who ever lived. No one has won and lost as many matches like that ever. 16 loses and 138 wins. That's even more dominance than John Cena. And John Cena did way more than the Ultimate Warrior. But Ultimate Warrior is more dominant. He's faster. He's more energetic. He has beat people who are more challenging than John Cena. John Cena went against from the low to the high. The Ultimate Warrior only went against the high and beat most of the people, if not beat all of them. The Ultimate Warrior is just extremely skilled, and he was fun to watch. He even beat The Undertaker, and I don't ever recall John Cena beating The Undertaker. That alone Hit the ultimate warrior in a higher spot. He beat someone that John Cena after going against over a f- over 500 people never beat it. And for him to go a year or two years straight without losing a match, that e- that's even more impressive than the 16 championships John Cena has. The ultimate warrior will forever be known in WWE history. I encourage you to watch his matches and to see how he fast and how strong and how skilled he was back in the day. Because trust me, I don't think John Cena was on his level, and I know John Cena is not on his level right now. The Ultimate Warrior, you will forever be remembered, and sorry that he had to die. Literally, I'm sad that he died, but this guy was just ultimate. If I got to describe the Ultimate Warrior, ultimate. That's the word to describe this guy. Thank you for watching. Central was strong. Between these two, the Ultimate Warrior will win, in my opinion. If you got any comments or any concerns or any questions, just feel free to leave a comment underneath the video, and I'll get right back to you. Thank you for watching. The Talking Flock, May, no, June 1st, 2017. Thank you.